low. And I got something very nice to show you. This. So this little thing here is a book I made probably two and a half years ago out of half of a sheet of A4 copy paper. I took that paper and I stained it, or actually, you know what, I think I wrote on it first and then I stained it with tea, or coffee. This one, hmm, let me see. This looks like coffee. It looks like coffee. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you see this right here? That little stain right there, that's, uh, that's what coffee looks like gets into paper sometimes. Yeah, right there. It looks like coffee. The other half of this sheet of paper is probably uh, comprising another book that I made. Either that or the sheets are strewn somewhere throughout my room or whatever. So this is Shilistkama Kanstra Silistiana e campraia shelly sapra e sesh unamai e stan maya wai filifan manats e makashaya on the side of the book it is titled shaya sweya par pretty cool man so the pieces slash parts. I don't know what that means. There's a lot of pieces in these books that I have no clue what they mean. I don't know what the, what I meant when I wrote them. Uh, I have a lot of ideas that just come into my head and I write them down and they're gone. I don't know what they mean. Uh, looks like the T-H-E. Beautiful black fire. Black fire. Uh, black fire is, is this uh, idea I had a while back, um, quite a long time ago that I came up with, and I don't know what it's supposed to mean, uh, except maybe like um, the passion within you to 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 fight for what you believe in. The white fire being a little more relaxed, and you just flow into what it is you love to do. But the black fire is very strong, very powerful, courageous brave let's see black fire um, let's see the beautiful black fire interesting I can't let's see that says feelings sensations I can't read what that says looks like the word together sick together I don't know what that means Maybe it says stick. Looks like stick together. I have no idea what that means. And this looks like a puzzle piece. Um, a little droplet, I don't know. You have only one day to change this place. When you wake, you will be different. Don't ask me what the hell that's supposed to mean because I have no idea. But I guess, you know, let's let's see. You have one day to change this place. Um, I think I was uh, challenging myself. Um, I, I have a tendency to, uh, to get lost in all my creations and I don't know what to do next and I just get caught up in it. So I remember this very distinctively. I wrote, I drew this when I was watching a, a film with Jake Gyllenhaal in it. It was, uh, I don't remember the name of it. It was the one where he was, uh, mm, well, I can't say unless, you know, unless you go to watch it and you don't know what it is. So I'll leave a link in the description of what the, what the, uh, the movie is. So I remember writing, drawing this during that film. I remember this very vividly. Earth's world's realities. I guess I was thinking about all the different kinds of, uh, the, all the possibilities that could happen through the butterfly effect or whatnot. All the things that could be. And, uh, and we somehow end up in this one, right here. 
and all these other ones are the ones that are the ones that didn't happen. Your lips have power, and don't forget it. Yes, they do. You can say a lot of things with your lips. You can tell people to fuck off, and you can tell people that you love them. And lots of people like kisses. Don't let your buddy rush you all the time. You'll get mad. I really don't know what the hell I was talking about. Um, uh, you know, I, I might have been talking about my buddy, Mr. Patrick, you know, like, he's a, he's, um, he really, he really likes, he likes to push himself a bit, you know, and, um, uh, I think maybe sometimes he'd like me to push myself a little more. Most of the time, it's hard for me to do that. It's fun to work out. Besides, you feel good afterward. Little dumbbell there. Uh, just like alcohol makes you feel bad, good and bad. Uh, I don't. I guess I was talking about. Um, like you're like, oh man, I don't want to have to work out. Damn, man, why do I gotta work out? And then you work out and you feel better, and then alcohol you feel good, and then you feel fucking terrible. So uh, I don't drink at this point in my life because I think it's terrible and it doesn't uh, it doesn't do me any good. So I don't drink right now. Your hands have power when you wave them over things. Ask them to see if they can feel it. it becomes real. Change the course. I totally spelled course wrong. Like course. Like that's that's some coarse paper. Um, I wrote this because of a time when I was hanging out with my buddy Demar, Demarlius, and uh, I waved my hand over a piece of paper, and he said he, it felt like I put power into that paper, and I just thought that was interesting. Of course. I'm the kind of person I, I dwell on something like that a little too much, and it's uh, I, everything I do I dwell on it a little too much, except uh, the really good things that make me feel good. So I'll get there one day. If you run too fast toward your goal, you could most definitely miss your second chance to make it better. I suppose that's very true. If you run too fast, you can trip over your own feet. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. There was some other quote, uh, by somebody, I don't know who. Um, Nature never hurries, yet it accomplishes everything. At 10.41 p.m. on January, February, March, April, May, June, 30th, 2014, 15, 16. I guess I was pretty close. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. Men, she's, I don't know. You, but you believe will on overcome an intent to right your stay when you arrive. I have no idea what that means. Uh, this little shill shell right here, uh, you can see I wrote some kind of I wrote some kind of word that I didn't like. And when I write words I don't like, I, I scribble them out in that way. Just like a little whoop de doo squiggle. It doesn't do any good. You can't uh, you can still read what it is. I like to make it where you can't read what the fuck I wrote.
know something. Uh, you know what that says? Alcohol. You know alcohol diminishes you, but you believe will uh, overcome an intent to write your story when you arrive. I don't know what that means. And it's the last page of the book. Don't worry, I have many, many books, and I will make many more in my lifetime. Probably. Let's see. It is not that brings... Oh, that says alcohol. Apparently I didn't do a good job scratching that out. It is not that alcohol brings insights, per se. But no... But one can learn from anything that comes with an outcome. And relieving the uncalm, cloudy voice of nerve lets out truer selves. You can learn from anything. And, um... This reminds me, it reminds me of uh, um, something I would do every once in a while when I'd go out with my wife or whatever, and, and she had to go to school or work or something, and uh, and she just wanted me to be with her when she got out. Um, you know, I would uh, go and I'd buy a beer, and I would walk around the town, I'd explore through the forest a little bit, and sometimes I would write things and whatnot, and it was always a really good time. Of course, uh, you know, you do that every single day and it doesn't get to be fun anymore. And uh, drinking alone can tend to be very depressing. And honestly, nobody likes it when I drink. I turn into a bit of an asshole. So I don't really drink anymore. I'm sure maybe one day I'll have another one, but I wouldn't call it the most enlightening thing on the planet. And this is the last page. Uh, uh, Kelly Con Moiswal Motswal Motswat Kelly Con Motswat K Freye Sway Mama. Very interesting. I can't sell this book because my mom actually bought it already. I, uh, I was going to sell a bunch of these little books a long ago, and she wouldn't let me. She said she needed them. She wanted them. And, uh, so they're hers now. So that's one of my books. And, um, I love these things. They're very interesting to me. I, just, I, I get so much pleasure out of looking at them and touching them. Uh, I stain them because they... I just love that color. It makes them look old, like some kind of ancient script or whatever. It'd be interesting to write something like a uh, an ancient movie script. These ancient people where they they wanted to make something called movies but they don't have this thing that they've made up in their mind called a camera but they can act like they're filming this thing that doesn't exist they can act like this thing they have is a camera but it's not but it's just for fun it's a game we play called making movies <laughs> that'd be interesting I have many more of these, and uh, I will show you the rest of them. I hope you liked this a lot. And if you didn't, well, I'm Corvin H. Lord Hayes. And that's too bad. 